Yep, she's gotta go, I know. She'll be back in a few days, I guess. Oh, the lucky ball didn't get hurt. Alright, drive safe. Don't forget to make ice. <laughs> Anything else? And don't forget to clean the house. Oh. The grass. What am I, a maid? The grass? The grass is fine. Say bye to mommy. Come on, this way. Come. <laughs> really? Come. No, you ain't got the reasons. No. Come. Let's start this day. Wifey free. I know, you got no mom today. What are we gonna do with that? Yeah, gonna be a sad day. Good morning YouTube, welcome to the channel, welcome to the vlog. Wifey is out of town for this weekend, so I'm in charge. Oh, go potty, oh that's a good boy. We're gonna do some crazy stuff this weekend. Yeah, gonna do the crazies. Oh, you in charge? Okay. In today's vlog, the pups are going to run around in circles. Enzo FaceTimes mom, we find a tick, and we kind of destroy the house but it'll be all right, we'll figure it out. I think, it'll be fine. Well, let's get going, boys. Well, you didn't think we wouldn't do anything fun this weekend, did you? No, we gotta go on the hike. Yeah, <laughs> we're actually gonna go a little bit later. Hey, Huckleberry, Huckleberry, that's enough. Chill with the grass. We're gonna go later. The weather yesterday said it was supposed to start raining this afternoon. The weather this morning said it was supposed to start raining this afternoon. And then just by happen chance, I decided to check it again, mostly because I was just wanting to know what the temperature was. It was like, oh, it's starting in like 45 minutes. And I was like, oh crap. So we rushed out, left the house in disarray. Sorry, wifey, but you know, you're out of town. Uh, I have been doing really well about keeping the whole house clean. Pups, they come above all, as you all know. <laughs> Lost the traction. There he is. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have to wash this car by myself, as usual. You enjoying this spring again? Back to spring? Really? Who brought Casper Frisbee out? That's an indoor toy. No, it's indoors. Do we look indoors? Oh, are you done? Uh, yeah, I didn't actually see you cutting the grass. Oh, I was inside, oh. Wow, okay. All right. So we're just not doing the lunchy today? I mean, we don't have to go somewhere before you eat every time. Maybe if you would have helped out with some of the chores, you'd be a little hungrier. It's possible. What's your excuse? You popped out. Everybody wants to eat lunchies. <laughs> Thank you so much for the toys. No, seriously, thank you. Even if they do annoy me sometimes. You got the post-mom leaving depressions? Yeah, you just don't know how to handle it. What's the longest you've ever been away from mom? Maybe like five hours, maybe? Like seriously. Serious question. It's gonna be a rough couple days for the pop pop. This is the new 2022 Porsche 911 GT3. <laughs> AKA dream car. Well, technically the RS would be my dream car, but an RS version will be coming. Aerodynamic suspension, brakes, yeah, all yeah, sorts yeah. of enhancements designed to make it faster. Of course, expect a higher performance GT3 RS to be coming relatively soon, along with- Told you. All right, boys, so one of the things we gotta do is, since someone, Enzo, broke the blinds, you'll notice we finally got the new ones in, thank goodness. We've decided that, you'll notice the couch takes up most of the living room width. There's just enough room to walk and for a pup to go by. We're gonna shift it, we're gonna put, yeah, see? Thank you for demonstrating. We're gonna shift it here. That doesn't seem so hard, but yeah, couches, they're not light. Now this does come apart into like a billion pieces. 
And I honestly think, Enzo, I'm trying to talk, trying to explain the game plan. Thank you, Lotus, for your consideration. Oh, I'm basically going to have to take, like, each section apart just and move them all one foot. <laughs> They will be shipping out. Uh, actually, by the time you see this, they've already shipped out, but they're shipping out this week. We're gonna pack them up. I will say that, you know, obviously, if you didn't do like a pre-order, if you placed them after the fact, or you've placed an order recently, uh, we generally get them shipped out next day. And yes, we do have some still, still have pink and gray. So I did order a few extra of each. So if you do want one, the link is down below where you can go. Now we have a website where you can buy these. But all the other merch you see, like the hoodies and like the t-shirts and stuff, that's all through Teespring. So that's a separate link. So if you're trying to find those, those are through our Teespring store. All right, with that said, it's getting late in this vlog. The wifey's gonna be home soon. So we still have stuff to do around the house. Oh, I'm sorry, did I disturb your napping? Whole couch is disassembled. I know, I've got all kinds of room now. Play all kinds of fun games. We're going to reassemble and then we're gonna do inventory. We gotta pack up the beanies and get them shipped to the subscribers. Yep, some of them will probably have lotus licks on them. I can't help that. Meanwhile, this is the dining room and kitchen. So why would I spend more than an hour of my day taking apart a couch just to move a rug slightly? So you'll notice the under part here is like velcroed. However, Roomba is beating the crap out of it and causing these little issues. So, even though this is supposed to be near the edge all the way around, I want to make it go to like the very edge uh, because I don't care that that end will, will look differently because it'll be under the couch. I know that pup and Roomba, how you like this makeshift pup wall? You know, appreciate it. Yeah. How you guys doing without mom? It's been rough. We did a couple little FaceTime videos. Got the no appreciation, so mom being missing. Enzo keeps like checking the door for her and stuff. I know, you missed the mama, I know. Ruggable, in case anybody's wondering, not sponsored. Buddy, you, you handled that like a champ. You did so good. What am I talking about? Well, you'll notice the couch is still in disarray because I had to stop oh, because of this. That would be a tick. You could tell a pretty small one. Probably picked it up today. I was a little lazy on the wipe down in retrospect. I don't know why, um, but like in thinking back, so we're gonna go downstairs and do another thorough wipe down and inspection. If you don't know much about ticks, that is a very small one. So what I do is I take this, which is almost out of, it seems to be out of fluid now. And I light it for, you know, a minute or so, let it get nice and hot around that plastic, and then I very gently place this over the tick so as not to touch their skin or fur. He did back out quite a bit, but then I finally had to get the tweezers just a little bit at the end there. Clean these tweezers, which I will clean them with soap and water, but first, I also did this before I pulled them out, which just makes it that much easier to get them out. We're never gonna get to this inventory. I'm just kidding, we will get to it, I promise. I know it's raining. It's okay. You wanna try going potty? What if I go out there with you? Maybe if I go with you? You'd rather not? Oh, good boy, Lotus. I know that was scary, but you you faced some fears. Yeah, that's such a good boy. Yeah. Oh, hi, Riley. Thanks. Look at all this fur that came off Enzo just from doing that little wipe down. I generally have like a set thing, like their paws always get wiped. I will do their bellies because you know, that way if they kick anything up. I'll usually just kind of like run down their spine because that's a, 
a hot spot for like ticks and stuff. But like, that's like my normal wipe down process. But if we go on a hike, I also make sure I do their sides. And for some reason this morning, even though we went on a hike, I didn't do that. I don't know why, like looking back, I can remember not doing it. And I don't know why I didn't. I think I just like in my mind, it was like we'd just gone to the park and therefore I just needed to do basically their belly and their paws. And then I just, like I said, I run one. I always go around their neck. I take their collars off. I always go around their neck and their ears real good because that's a hot spot. And then I usually just run down their spine and their tail. But when we go hiking, I also do the sides because obviously they can pick up ticks. And that's where this one was. It was on the other side, but it was right there. Right on his little racing stripe. Yeah, I mean, the good thing is there's like no blood, no nothing. Like, I mean, that thing had to have been from today. Like, there's no way that tick was on there for any amount of time other than the last couple hours. That's my fault. I don't know what I spaced. I don't know. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. You got the forgives. Can you forgive me? Oh, okay. Maybe if I get you some glow balls. Well, yeah, absolutely. I can get that for you. Sure. No, no problem. First tick I ever found on you, buddy. All right, I did want to kind of break down the tick thing real quick. Because it was so unexpected, I didn't film any of it. It's one of those things that it's like in the moment, you don't really think like, oh, I should get a camera and a tripod and set it up. You know, I just wanted to get it off of him. I do want to stress how insanely dangerous it is to use the heat method. Definitely be careful if that's the way you're going to go about it. In fact, I am looking into like some essential oils. I've seen, read some things and seen some things where like a couple drops of essential oil into the tick will kind of get them to pull right out. Um, so that would be a much safer way, obviously. Hey, don't try to eat the house. Off. Jeez, trying to eat my house. Anyways, be safe, be smart, and if all else fails, go to the vet. Is mom home? Nothing like driving 14 hours and having a camera in your face the second you walk home. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So I'm with my cop mom. Oh hi, sweet boy. Hi. Aren't you afraid mom was not coming back? Yeah. Alright, so wifey is home now. We didn't get to packing up the beanies in this video. We will get to them in the next vlog. This vlog is just getting to be too long. But the wifey is gonna help us and you'll get to see that. Plus, I had planned to show you like us going to mail them, which was gonna be in this video, but something kind of crazy happened. I'll show you a little bit of it right now. Hey! I will call the cops on you! Uh, so yeah, figured I'd kind of make that its own thing. So that'll be in the next vlog. You can kind of see all the craziness that that was. In the meantime, as I mentioned, all the beanies have shipped by now, so you should have them. We still have them in stock, so if you place an order since then, by the time this goes live, all those will be out. I'm filming this on Monday, like May 3rd, I think. So at this point, we still have them in stock, but if you order them, they will should ship next business day. Do not drop your glow ball. Wow. With that, Appreciate all you guys who watch and subscribe and like the videos. I especially appreciate all the Patreons that you see scrolling on the screen right now. As always, we'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys. Come get yours. Oh, that's a good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy. No, it's it's fine. It's just as good. No, hey, that's cheap shot. We don't do the cheap shots. Not doing their cheap shots. You got the glow ball? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna get us in trouble. Does not have indoor voice. Well, that's gonna do it for this vlog. Uh, I had planned to show you us like packing these. I had planned to show you guys us packing. Take it down a notch. Oh, we're not biting the concrete. I just, I don't know.